Hello, in this video I want to talk about uh, randomly accessing different arrays in NumPy um, and using randomness to uh, yeah, get different representations of the arrays. So first, uh, just a remark on random seeds. Random seeds are just numbers um, that are fed into the random number generators. And um, yeah, random numbers in computers aren't actually random, but it's just a mathematical function that uh, produces uh, yeah, random looking values. So to humans, these values look uh, quite random, but they will need uh, some kind of seed. And this seed determines um, the sequence of random values that comes when calling this function multiple times. Um, and yeah, if you provide the same seed to the function twice, it will give you the exactly same sequence of random values again. So these are called pseudo-random uh, number generators because they're not really random, but just look random. Um, yeah, and we can set the random seed for NumPy uh, using this np.random.seed function, and we just pass a number, which is then the seed. And uh, if we call this in this loop here, and we set the random seed before each call of this random function um, to zero, then every time we call random and uh, request five random values, they will be the same every time. And um, just to show you, if we don't want this, uh, we can set the seed to none. And this will just use the system's uh, random seed, uh, which might, for example, just be the time um, as a random seed. And um, if we do this, we get different random values every time we execute this random function. Okay. Now, if we want to uh, modify the arrays using randomness, um, there are different ways. For example, uh, we have shuffling, and shuffling uh, will just reorder uh, a dimension of this array. Um, and by default, shuffle just um, works on the first dimension. So it will take, uh, for example, if you have a matrix, it will take the rows and reorder them randomly. And um, yeah, if we execute this, for example, then um, on this A range, which is normally ordered, uh, we call random.shuffle and pass A. And after that, A is um, modified and yeah, has a random ordering now. And as you already saw here, um, this mp.random.shuffle uh, modified A. And um, if we print A afterwards, A is not still this A range, but A was modified by the shuffle. And um, yeah. This behavior can be prevented by using permutation, and uh, I will show you that later. But um, for now, um, yeah, we can have a look at Shuffle. And Shuffle also works on uh, multidimensional arrays. And uh, here we create this A range and reshape it as a matrix with a 3x3 three three, um, architecture. And uh, then we call Shuffle. And as you can see here, the rows are now shuffled. So the rows are still. Um, yeah, contained from this A range. So we have one, zero, one, two, three, four, five, and six, seven, eight. Um, and yeah, I think in this case, actually it didn't even uh, change anything. Um, but if we run this again, this is now shuffled. And um, this was probably just a big coincidence right now that um, yeah, it didn't change the ordering, but the random ordering it came up with was just the normal one. All right. Um, if you just want to, uh, if you want to shuffle all the values in an array, uh, even a multi-dimensional one, and not just shuffle the first dimension, uh, what you can do is flatten the array first, and then shuffle that, and then afterwards reshape it again. And um, if we have a look at this A here, which is a three by three matrix, and uh, we want to shuffle all the values in here, then we first say A dot flatten and save the result in B, then we shuffle B and afterwards uh, say A is now B, but reshaped with the shape of A. And this will just uh, completely completely randomize the uh, values in, in this array, in this matrix. Uh, as I said before, uh, shuffle will yeah, modify the array in place. So it will change the uh, values in the array and uh, not return a copy of them. And if you don't want this behavior, you can use this np.permutation or np.random.permutation. And um, what this does is it will create a copy of the array and um, return it, um, yeah, basically shuffled or with a permutation of the of the values. 
And this again just works on the first dimension here. Um, and we call mp.random.permutation of A. And this, um, yeah, again shuffled the rows. But if we have a look at A afterwards, A is still ordered as we created it above here. Okay, and um, yeah, this can be very useful for um, shuffling multiple arrays, um, but keeping the order between the arrays the same. So if you have, for example, two vectors and you want to shuffle them and um, you want that every two elements in the array, so the first two elements and the second two elements and so on, will stay the same in uh, the two arrays so that the, um, the elements still match but are shuffled, then you can use permutation um, in a different way. Um, yeah, and first we'll have a look at this A range here. Um, and we again just square the, the A range and uh, stack them on top of each other. And then we can use the random permutation and pass the, um, yeah, the size of the first dimension of A, which is uh, in this case just nine because we have nine numbers here and um, just pass this integer to the permutation function and then permutation will return um, yeah, an array of indices which we can use to um, yeah, index our two arrays but because this is just one random array of indices uh, we can use them twice here and uh, yeah, achieve the same shuffling in the two arrays while um, yeah, keeping the elements still like as pairs in the two uh, arrays and uh, as you can see here these two arrays are now shuffled but this ordering uh, between two elements is still the same um, and as you can see here since we squared this uh, three squared is still nine seven squared still 49 and so on okay um, now coming to random dot child choice um, np dot random dot choice is another function that will um, return um, some values from your array randomly but what choice will do is um, yeah, give you a random choice from this array and uh, in this example here we um, use an A range again and call np.random choice and pass A and we also give it a size and say 5 and this means that we want 5 values um, from this array a and um, yeah if we execute this we get five values um, from this a array but as you can already see we have two fives in here and uh, this a range should only contain one five so what random.choice does is uh, it will not um, take the values out of the array but it will just look at the whole array every time it uh, yeah, takes one element for this choice. Um, if you don't want that, you can uh, also specify replace to false. Um, and yeah, this just means that when picking arrays, uh, when picking values from the array, it will not replace them. So once it, it was picked, um, it will not pick that one again. And yeah, this is the same call, but this time we just pass replace equals false. And uh, yeah, now every value we have here is unique and um, was basically um, chosen from the array without replacing it afterwards. Um, yeah, and just to show you if we would like to um, get more uh, values from our array, then the array uh, has elements. And we also say replaces false, then this will give us an error because we can't take more elements out of the array than there are uh, without replacing them. Okay, and um, just a quick example um, regarding one of the exercises we had before in this week. Um, before there was an exercise that you should uh, yeah, create an array, a five uh, by five dimensional array, where uh, yeah, statistically 25% um, of the elements are true and the rest is false and um, now we have another way of doing this using the random choice function and um, we say that it should choose from this array which is just an array containing true and false and it should um, create 
um, yeah, a choice with five by five elements. And we can also specify the probabilities for that. So we, we say the first element should have a probability of 25% uh, and the second one should have a probability of 75%. And uh, if we execute this, we get this array with uh, approximately 25% of the elements being true.